Hello, everyone, and welcome to a Tuesday edition of the Orange and Brown Talk podcast. Dan Lobby with Mary Kay Cabot and Ashley Bastock. We are uh, going to get you all caught up on free agency. So we recorded yesterday before Draymond Jones went to Seattle, before the Browns agreed to terms with Dalvin Tomlinson. So we have all of that to get into. And then we'll also look ahead a little bit. And of course, uh, the Browns and Sione Takitaki, as Mary Kay has been reporting, is going to happen. Uh, that agreement was also reached today. So even on a quiet day, still plenty to get to. And I say quiet, uh, knock on wood over here, uh, since since we're recording a podcast now at 5.45 here on Tuesday. Uh, Mary Kay, let's start with the news from Monday night, though. Uh, Draymond Jones decides to go to Seattle. You know, you tweeted out that maybe he just got too expensive for the Browns. Is, is that essentially what happened? You know, I think that that probably had something to do with it. I think that if the price had been right, they probably could have ended up with Draymond Jones. I know they were in the mix, but I also know that there is a chance that maybe Delvin Tomlinson was who they wanted all along because he's that big guy in the middle to plug that big hole. Now, Draymond Jones, he's a different kind of defensive tackle slash end. He was going to bring uh, the pass rush element to you which I think, of course, is very important. But the Browns really did struggle to stop the run as well last year. So uh, it might have been just a case of, uh, hey, let's let's plug up the middle with a big kind of guy that Jim Schwartz, that he's known for having in the middle of his defenses, right? I mean, that, you know, big beefier and Damakang Su kind of a guy. And that's what, that's what Dalvin Tomlinson brings to the table. So he's going to eat up a lot of space, maybe take on some double teams in there. And, uh, and take some pressure off Miles Garrett. So, Ashley, that kind of brings up an interesting discussion. Um, you know, so Draymond got uh, three years, 51.53. Uh, the Browns give Dalvin uh, four years, 57 million, uh, with 27 and a half guaranteed. So he obviously comes at a lower rate. But I, there is sort of a discussion here about type. And, uh, you know, Dalvin Tomlinson can create pressure, but he is a different type of defensive tackle than Draymond Jones, who yeah. you can move all over the place. And, and so, yeah, maybe that was just the preference of the Browns. Yeah, because especially, I mean, I think Draymond's like really unique in how he can play. And you can have him come off the edge if you want. You can move him around inside if you want. He can do all those things where Dalvin Tomlinson's a bit more traditional, that bigger body like we're talking about. Um, so I could understand in a Jim Schwartz world, like one of those guys being the preference over the other, right, in this new defensive scheme. So I definitely think it's, like, believable that, hey, maybe this is just the guy they want. They happen to be able to get him at a better rate, too. The other guy's price was going up. So kind of nothing lost on their end, it seems like. So, Mary Kay, the word overpay has been getting thrown around a little bit today on social media. And I understand it. I think I could make the case that this was an overpay, but I mean, is that what was this an overpay for the Browns or is this just something they needed to do? Well, you know, when you get into free agency and if you choose to play the game, uh, a lot of times you are going to overpay. If it was their own guy, they probably would not have shelled out that much money. But uh, that's what you're going to pay for a premium defensive lineman. Uh, so I, I'm not going to say overpay. Um, I think, you know, this is, this is what you have to do to get what you need. They've got the money to do it. They cleared that $36 million, uh, with Deshaun Watson. Uh, you know, what, what were they going to do? Like go into next season and say, oh, well, you know, there was that $3 million. We just didn't want to shell out. And, you know, then they go and they, they get run all over for the first five games of the season. I mean, you do what you have to do and they, they filled a very big need. Yeah, I mean, this is sort of the reality of this situation.